Mermaids, mutants, and aliens. Oh my. Hello everyone and welcome back to my freak show. Now please do not watch this video if you haven't watched the first three episodes of American Horror Story Season 10 because, you know, spoilers. Now many of you have asked me, who is the chemist? Why is she making the muse? And let's dive into these questions and many more in this theory video. Now please know that this video is only a speculation and made for entertainment purposes only. And if you like these theory videos, please like and subscribe. And you can go one step further and become a patron for just one dollar. Link is in the description. This video is dedicated to longtime subscriber Jake Ring. Thanks for being here for all these years, Jake. You're the best. Now, at this point, we know very little about Angelica Ross's character, the chemist. So let's talk about what we know. Number one, she's hot with a fantastic wardrobe and awesome makeup. Number two, she lives in a beautifully huge house with a mermaid as a door knocker. Number three, she doesn't like strangers. Number four, she calls the shots when it comes to Belle and Austin. Number five, she created the pill using unknown ingredients and cooking various styles. Number six, the chemist is young. In fact, she's pretty damn young to create a pill of this magnitude. Now, speaking of the pill, guys, what motivated the chemist to create such a pill? to help people that are creative reach their full potential? I say no, because the pill removes their creativity once they start taking it. In fact, if you take the pill, you can't create without it. So it seems like the pill is actually designed to steal creativity. Now let's take a quick science trip to the brain where your creativity is located. And I promise y'all, I'm not a science professor, so this will be fast. Your creativity comes from your frontal lobe along with your premortal cortex, primary motor cortex, which controls your action, and also is your only source of dopamine, which is a chemical messenger sending messages to your brain. Now, the largest part of your frontal lobe is called the prefrontal cortex. It allows us to know the difference between right and wrong and know that there are consequences to our actions. It also overrides and suppresses socially unacceptable responses. So this pill definitely affects one's motor skills, the ability to feel emotions, and the ability to know the difference between right and wrong. We can totally see that the effects are taking place because the people are totally addicted to it. They literally can't create without it, even if the consequences are murder and face serious jail time if discovered. If the frontal lobe becomes damaged, we can lose our inhibition, judgment, and decision-making skills. And damage to our frontal cortex can also cause damage to our DNA. Ultimately, I can confirm the pill is damaging the frontal cortex of the people who take the pill. Surely the chemist, guys, she would have realized this when testing the pill before distributing it, right? I mean, you know, I know it's not like she can go through regular testing with FDA, get their approval, but she has to test the pill to make sure that it worked. So my theory is, is the pill doesn't do what the chemist says it does. It actually destroys the frontal cortex of your brain. Why would the chemist want to destroy the part of your brain that takes consequences under consideration is your primary motor function and your dopamine creator? Oh yeah, folks, don't worry. I've got an answer. The pills turn the takers into a mindless army, doing someone's bidding regardless of the consequences. And I believe this person is Doris. Oh yeah, guys. If you've seen my new theory video, Doris is an alien, then you knew that that was coming. If not, let me just blow your mind quickly. I theorize Doris is an alien who came to Earth around the year 2000, looking for someone whose last coordinates came from our planet. Through a little investigation, she discovers the person she is looking for landed in Roswell, New Mexico in June 1947 and was tortured and killed by the United States government. Now, since Doris can't seek revenge by way of an invasion, she decides to infest our planet like a deer tick and have an alien slash human hybrid baby to lead the infected humans to take over the Earth. Now, before I actually get you know, further on with this theory and how the chemist is included, let's talk quickly about the blood. 
Blood is constantly moving through her body, transporting nutrogen and oxygen. Austin says that the pill depletes the four major minerals in our blood. And those four minerals are sodium, potassium, calcium, and magnesium. And I won't break down what all of them do for your body, just know that it's important. Basically, Austin and the rest of them suffer from mineral deficiency. Now, it can be easily fixed with the right diet and vitamin supplements. So, wh why does the pill take away their appetite? You'd think they'd be eating the shit out of some fast food and popping supplements like they were Valium during a COVID crisis. But they're not. They only crave blood. Their appetite is completely suppressed. And what I also found interesting is a woman may encounter this during pregnancy, heavy menstruation, and at a postmenopausal time. Hmm, Doris is pregnant, y'all. I don't see her taking prenatal vitamins. So how is she getting her supplements since she doesn't eat? So I think that the craving blood is a side effect of the blood that the chemist included in the pill. And the blood came from the residents of P-Town. I'll get there very quickly, but lastly, let's take a look at the actual pill. It's black, smooth, and glossy, and there's even a shiny film covering the pill. And when I see them, I think stones, like um, like black moonstone. And I know that all of you rock enthusiasts out there are totally going to call me out in the comments, but that's just what I see. Black moonstone is the crown chakra crystal. It's also known as the stone of love, fertility, intuition, magic, protection, hope, and spiritual purity. It is also said to increase sensitivity to the feminine divine. So it definitely makes sense that Doris used these pills to get pregnant, and it would explain why she hasn't done anything to get ready for the baby. She's not giving birth to a regular human. And it would also explain why Alma hates Doris so much. Aliens are assholes. Now let me land this theory on the runway for y'all. Doris commissioned the chemist to create the pill so she could get pregnant and take over the minds of those who ingest the pill. She found the chemist from memos and newspapers indicating one of the chemist's ancestors was there back in 1947 working for the government the day that the UFO crashed in New Mexico. So either Doris forces or she blackmails the chemist into creating the pill, something that the chemist ancestor already started. So Doris worked with the chem chemist anonymously, their communication through secret messages. And my feeling is, is that the chemist doesn't like strangers because Doris was once a stranger to her. And then she blackmailed her into doing Doris's bidding. So now she hates strangers. Now, the first pill I speculate allowed Doris to change her form enough to pass for a human. Maybe that's why she's covered up all the time. But I really think that Doris maybe already had the power to do that. However, I truly honestly feel that the pill that the chemist actually first gave Doris got her pregnant with little Alma. However, Alma wasn't the super baby that Doris wanted, and it didn't turn people into, you know, bloodthirsty mutants. So she made the chemist try again. Now this time, it took years of testing, but she did test the pill out on the creative people in a small town where the sheriff looked the other way, and an opioid epidemic made it easy to distribute them. Now, when the pill was perfected enough, uh, on the right balance of fertility and the ability to take over their minds, Doris took the third pill, got pregnant, and is expecting her super baby. I speculate that Doris will mentally activate those who took the pill, and the world will have been secretly taken over by the powerful and elite aliens that she turned. Now, I definitely fully believe that the pill is changing Austin, Bell, Harry, all of them, all of the other pill poppers, morphing their DNA into becoming more alien than human. Messages aren't being sent to the brain, so they don't feel emotions except for like depression, and they don't care if they kill people, even if those people are criminals and addicted to drugs. And that's also why Austin drank all the time. He even said he can't feel anything. And I'm sure that they won't care when they find out that they're not human anymore, because the pill may make them creative, but in exchange, they depend on the pills to create. So of course they won't care what the pill does as long as they're gainfully employed. 
So judging by what has happened so far, I'd say this theory video is the most out there. Yet it's also the closest theory that I could come up with. I know it's crazy, but it definitely seems likely. Now, I definitely have heard the theory that the chemist is actually a siren using the pill to put people under her spell. And while I definitely love this theory, I'm not done speculating about this season, so I can assure you, mermaids are coming in my next theory video. Ha ha ha, I'm just kidding guys, let's talk about mermaids. Oh, and I definitely want to let you know I am still going to talk mermaids in my next video, that wouldn't lie. I truly believe something is off about the people in the town. We never see the residents, even at the grocery store. And I've lived in a town of 5,000 people. So believe me guys, I saw everyone just every time I went out, even to a convenience store. And that this town has 3,000 in the winter time. So I get more specific in my next theory video, but basically here's the gist of it. The chemist comes from a family with a tainted name. So she's hiding in a small town where she can escape the press and the government. But it's not long before she discovers the residents of the town are either fish or mermaids who live in the ocean and are not simply people living a recluse life. The town elders, the grocery store owner, the police, the governor, all of them are mermaids or they are protecting those that are mermaids. Now, either way, they know what's going on and that the real residents live in the ocean and they accept the disgraced chemist into their town and into their secret. Maybe the citizens ask the chemist to help them find a cure. Maybe they want her to create a pill that gives them legs because they know how to use them. Who knows? But I predict that the mermaid residents of P-Town willingly gave the chemist their blood for testing and she included it into the pill without their permission or knowledge and that's why everyone craves blood. It's a simple mutation because it's mixed with Doris's blood and other chemicals. But the Muse epidemic throws the spotlight on P-Town threatening to expose the secret of the residents and to get the chemist kicked out of Safeville. Now, I'll definitely go more into this and the red lights in my next theory video, but that is definitely what's a taste up to come. Do you think the chemist works for Doris? What do you think of the purpose of the pill is? And who do you think the chemist really is? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget y'all, weekly Wednesday live streams are every single Wednesdays. My reviews for AHS will be up as soon as I'm done with them. But if you're still hungry for more American Horror Story, you can snack on my theory videos, episode reviews, all that stuff. Playlist is at the end of the video. Hit subscribe if you want. And if you like the video, please press that like button. And thank you so much for watching and beware of Sexy Scathich. Beware of Sexy Scathich. Fertility, intuition, magic, protection, hope, and spiritual purity. It is also said to increase the sensitivity to the femen. Ugh. Femen. What am I talking about, Mary? It's not semen. Oh my God.